welcome back to my channel lady survival here um i am in my new bedroom world of warcraft room and this is my first time filming a proper video in front of my like world of warcraft backdrop thing that i've created which i've like dreamed about for a really long time it's kind of like my old bedroom in canada but better kind of except the walls aren't purple that's the only thing that can make it better but basically i've never really had a super nice like setup like this so I'm pretty stoked I'm feeling really really good and super like myself um, as I've mentioned a lot recently on Instagram and in all of my videos and stuff I moved so I'm in a brand new place have my own room this is like my YouTube World of Warcraft makeup streaming room not streaming room video room YouTube room um, but it might be my streaming room soon I need to get like I have my main PC over in our office area. Can't really afford to get a new PC for this bedroom, but I might eventually get like a laptop maybe that's like good enough to stream, hopefully. Or maybe I'll just get a desktop PC, I'm not really sure. But it would be awesome to stream in here because it's really, really cool. Um, but yeah, I basically wanted to talk about World of Warcraft and Sylvanas. I thought that that would be fitting in this little area. Um, because I've definitely been kind of going through a lot for the last year or two or three with the whole like Sylvanas story arc and stuff basically since she burned Teldrassil and everything that happened leading into Shadowlands and during Shadowlands and I kind of basically had a mental breakdown over the Sylvanas stuff as you guys know I'm like obsessed with Sylvanas and I have been for a really really long time and I'm like unhealthily obsessed with her hence the tattoos and all of the stuff and the dark lady on my fingers which I totally love and still love and will always always love but as you can tell really love her basically devoted my entire life to her and what they did with her story was a little bit damaging to me I guess um so basically what happened is it's kind of like a good thing, but also like a bad thing, I guess. Um, so I really like Sylvanas as the Banshee Queen. That's what I loved so much about her. And during the story in Battle for Azeroth with her burning Teldrassil and doing all the stuff with killing people, starting wars and doing a bunch of bad shit, I really genuinely thought they had like a greater plan for her and something like super badass that she was gonna do or something. And to have it in Shadowlands turn out where, like, it was just like, here's her story going up and up, and, like, they're making it seem super cool, especially with the Sylvanas Loyalist stuff in-game. And they're like, we wouldn't add the Loyalist stuff in the game unless it was meant to be important or whatever. So I really thought they had something super dope planned, and then instead it was like, haha, you were just tricked by the Jailer, and it was all not what you thought it was and she was just basically like looking super dumb and that is not Sylvanas like we all know that she doesn't trust anyone like she immediately would just not believe anything that the jailer would have to say but for some reason she just completely didn't know what was going on there's no way like I feel like something happened in her story like they did have something else planned and then they probably like rewrote the Shadowlands at the last minute. And basically, moral of the story, um, them turning Sylvanas back into Ranger General Sylvanas really got to me and hurt me because I really don't like Ranger General Sylvanas, I guess. At least not how they portrayed her in the new cinematics. Basically, when I watched the cinematic Shattered Legacies, <laughs> Ooh, I was so mad. Not only was the cinematic stupid and looked bad, and I don't know what style they did, but like her hair looked really weird and like thick and like like clay or like play-doh or something. I don't know how to explain it. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. But um I hated it. I was really, really mad. So much so to the point that like I almost stopped liking Sylvanas, but not for like everything that she has been up to this point, but more like for just what they've made her into now and I'm like really pissed off and I'm really scared to see her and it kind of caused me to take a break from WoW slash step away from it for a while and I almost was finally able to let go of my Sylvanas obsession and start healing myself 
which is kind of crazy because that's basically what happened in her story is that like she's been the banshee queen this whole time and now she's back with her soul restored and she's kind of realized that she has to come to terms with all of this bad shit that she's done and find a way to accept it and you know now she's in the maw and kind of repaying for her sins and doing her Tyrande's judgment stuff and I guess it's just kind of crazy because it took all of this stuff happening with her story for me to finally kind of let go slash step away from my insane obsession with Sylvanas. Like I still love her and I'm still obsessed with her but it's almost like my relationship with her and with World of Warcraft was so unhealthy. Like I don't really know what specifically it is but I definitely have been using World of Warcraft and Sylvanas to like hide from all of my problems and hide from reality and I looked up the term escapism the other day on the internet. I'll put it up like right here and that is like 100% what I've been doing with my life for the last like 17 years basically. So much so to the point I've completely pushed everyone away, don't like to have friends, literally I'm like I want to be known as the crazy World of Warcraft Sylvanas girl and it's been really unhealthy but I'm also kind of like addicted to being like this because I've been like this for so long and it's really tied into my like nostalgia and stuff like I'm so addicted to my nostalgia of World of Warcraft that I'm trying to like relive it so much to the point I can't let it go because I feel like it's me it's like all of who I am and my identity is in World of Warcraft and in Sylvanas so um so I haven't really been able to like let it go but it's definitely messed me up a lot in terms of like I probably should have gone to college or something like four years ago at least didn't because I wanted to just play WoW and be the Sylvanas girl and stuff so yeah and overall I think it's really messed with my like self-confidence and I just feel cringy all the time which I totally am and uh yeah moral of the story what they did with Sylvanas's character and how I hate how she is now like I hate her new model I don't like the blue gear and her like new blue eyes it's like give me the banshee queen back um, it's basically like blizzard messing up her story was a good thing for me in real life so I guess what I'm saying is now I'm still obsessed with Sylvanas but in a more healthy way and it's probably good that they've put her on the back burner for now and when she does come back because she's not the way that I've always loved her and she does have blue eyes now and I'm like looking at the picture over there I have an autographed picture of her over there and I I don't like it but it also it also does kind of suck because I didn't end up playing very much Shadowlands because basically like I was saying as soon as that Shattered Legacies cinematic came out I pretty much like stopped playing. I was so mad and so upset and like crying and trying to kind of like break my like intense ties to Sylvanas because I just felt like I couldn't identify with her anymore but I'm kind of sad because now Shadowlands has turned out to be like the least played expansion that I've ever played. Other than Mists of Pandaria, I pretty much like quit during Mists of Pandaria because I just didn't vibe with the pandas. But other than that, I'm just kind of sad. It's like, it it's never the same. Like, yeah, I can go back and like level in all of the Shadowland zones, but it's not the same as like when it was live, you know? And I didn't even do like any of the raids. I literally never even killed Sire Denathrius, and I've never not done all of the raids, at least on LFG. Because I can't really do like guild stuff because I have social anxiety so I can't voice chat with people but I want to work on it but usually at least I do sorry LFR not LFG looking for raid but um but overall I feel like now I have a more healthy relationship with World of Warcraft I used to play for like 12 hours a day at least when I could and now I only play for like a couple hours a day and I can go days without playing sometimes um, depending on how busy I am and stuff but I am really excited to try out Dragonflight. I'm gonna be streaming that probably with my husband maybe a little bit on my own as well um, and I'm excited and I am curious to know what's gonna happen with all of the lore stuff because obviously I'm obsessed with World of Warcraft lore and I really want to make videos about World of Warcraft lore because I get a ton of my people always asking about it and wishing that I would make videos. I was even considering maybe doing like makeup like where I could do like a makeup video themed 
a certain way. Like for example, I could do night elf makeup and explain like the night elf lore or something or the lore behind like Teldrassil and stuff like that. Um, but overall, this was just kind of a super rambly video just kind of talking about Sylvanas and WoW and uh, stuff and just like where I am with it and how I feel about it. Yeah, I think that that's it. I don't know if this video made any sense, but it kind of made me feel a little bit better to like just express all of that and let me know what you guys think or if you have any questions down below in the comments. I would love to at any time talk about World of Warcraft stuff because it is my favorite and let me know what types of World of Warcraft videos you guys might want me to do because I'm definitely also it's like a dream of mine to eventually be like featured on Akalon's channel because Akalon and I are pretty close and he does wow lore speculation and he sometimes has um, days where you can like ask him questions on his channel and so I want to like talk to him on voice chat and talk to him about wow so I need to get better at being on YouTube and stuff so yeah again I think that that's everything I'm talking way too fast that's another thing I really need to learn to not do is forgetting to breathe when I'm talking, I feel like that's like a social anxiety thing. I, I don't I don't know. I need help. I haven't gone to therapy in a long time. And I wonder what they would say in terms of like devoting my life to a video game. But here we are. Uh working on it. I actually have done a lot of like stuff to try to be better. Um anyways, I'm gonna go now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!